former CIA officer and host of the Station Chief podcast, joining us now on the line. Scott, good morning to you. Good morning, Raheem. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very grateful for you joining us this morning. Uh, we are obviously Hi. talking about the Susan Rice unmasking story. Uh, any initial thoughts on this before I uh, before I start grilling you? <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, I think that um, it's. I think it's an issue which deeply concerns uh, people like myself and other people, working level officers in the intel community. Because mm. even though at this point there seems to be no evidence of breaking the law, the um, this this unmasking of people is is ill was ill advised at best, and I think it really shows that. Um, abuse of power and the fact that many people in the Obama administration were willing to violate the spirit of the laws designed to protect Americans, perhaps rather than the law itself. That's very interesting. Um, it's it's a point that I think we we have missed for the past couple of hours, and that's why we're so grateful to have you on, is that it's not just about whether or not a law has been broken here. It's actually the timing of it, the context of the whole thing. Uh, it, it, po it probably would occur to all good hearted, honest-minded people that actually maybe during and just after an election, it's maybe not best to start unmasking, uh, uh, you know, people who are affiliated with a campaign or a transition team, lest you seem, uh, uh, you know, mean-spirited at best, um, or that you're, you know, using your position to try and lay landmines for your successors, um, you know, maybe exactly. not even at worst. But I mean, isn't isn't that what we're getting at here, Scott? That's right. You know, uh, as a as a as a, a working level, um, you know, CIA officer, we were always uh, told by upper authority. You are always told to, and the quote is, avoid the appearance of impropriety. Mm -hmm. Well, this does not pass that smell test, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's another thing that, you know, concerns working level officers. It doesn't, you know, in the intelligence community, in the military is the American people, average Americans like myself are, are tired of seeing two sets of rules followed by the mm. by the higher ups and then the working level people. And, and this is just part and this is just part of that. Again, um, a, a working level officer would have gotten into big trouble doing anything remotely like this. But but uh, now we have a lot of people saying that she should just be given a pass. And while I understand, you know, it's important that we uh, the Trump administration has to move forward with its domestic agenda. But these allegations, I think, demand to be further investigated. I'm getting to the point now, Scott, I don't know where you are on this, but I'm getting to the point where I believe that actually uh, the Trump administration will find it incredibly difficult to move on with their domestic agenda. I know what Mark in New York was saying, uh, uh, one of our callers before, uh, but I don't think it will happen or be allowed to happen by the opposition party which is the media, um, and by, uh, you know, the Democrats as well, at the same time, unless this stuff is cleared up. I mean, you are seeing day upon day this Russia hysteria. Let me ask you this question, and this is a question for everyone out there. If there was so much being intercepted here, if there was so much to worry about that, that Susan Rice and all these other people felt the need to know uh, about these people and who they were talking to and unmask them, then where is this proof about the Russian hacking the election and all that kind of stuff? I mean, you can either, you can only have it one way. You can't have it, right. oh, we don't know yet, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, or actually, we know everything, and we're still going to look into it. No, you can't have it both ways. Scott, what is this? That's that's a very good question, Raheem, and you're exactly right. It is it is something uh, I can explain. Is that you also have to look at the context of some of the rules. For example, the um, the Obama administration relaxed the rule that allowed raw intelligence that was mm -hmm. gathered by the NSA to be shared throughout the government. Okay. First of all, to relax that, there is absolutely no operational justification for doing that. With all of the counterintelligence problems, with espionage, with Snowden, all these things we've had, to raise by an order of magnitude the access to this very sensitive information makes no operational sense at all. So for someone to approve that, it's clear they had another intent. And I believe the intent was to allow for further leakage 
to give more people access, thus more leaks, which in fact would hurt the Trump administration. It seems very obvious when you put that together and combine it with the actions of Susan Rice and other people in unmasking people. That is the true purpose behind this. And, and I say this as somebody who you have to remember when I was a station chief overseas, this is what I was reporting on. I was in countries like Azerbaijan, Tajikistan, right. Kosovo, countries which constantly had the offices of the prime minister or president using the intelligence services to suppress the domestic opposition. So I've been to this rodeo before many a time. And I can see I saw this, you know, the storm clouds gathering several weeks ago and everything I've suspected has so far come to fruition.